Is your mobile internet fast one minute? And crawling the next? It's not just about signal bars. The real culprits could be router placement, network congestion, or the wrong frequency bands. In this video, we'll show you how to use Home Assistant, installed on VirtualBox, to track signal strength from Huawei and ZTE routers and uncover what may affect your connection. Let's get started. We'll start by installing Home Assistant using the VirtualBox disk image. First, head over to the official Home Assistant website and download the VDI image for VirtualBox. You'll find all the download links and resources mentioned in this video down in the description. Next, we'll create a new virtual machine in VirtualBox using the image we downloaded. Select the type as Linux and choose Oracle Linux 64-bit. Then increase the memory and CPU allocation for better performance. One important step, make sure to enable EFI in the system settings. After that, select the downloaded VDI image as the hard disk. VirtualBox will automatically adjust the disk size. When you're done, click Finish to create the virtual machine. Before launching the virtual machine, there's one important setting to change. To allow Home Assistant to access your mobile router on the local network, go to the VM settings, open the network tab, and change the adapter type to bridged adapter. Now we can start the virtual machine. After it finishes booting, open your browser and connect to Home Assistant using the IP address assigned to the VM. This will take you to the onboarding page where you can complete the setup. For Huawei routers, Home Assistant has a built-in integration available. Just add the integration, then enter the router's IP address along with your username and password. Once connected, you'll start receiving live data directly from the router. The final step is to visualize your signal data. Head over to the History view in Home Assistant and add all the relevant signal entities like RSRP, RSRQ, and SINR. This lets you track connection quality over time and spot patterns in your mobile network performance. Now we'll do the same for ZTE routers. Since there's no built-in integration for ZTE in Home Assistant, we'll use a third-party custom integration. First, go to the GitHub page and download the integration files. To complete the ZTE integration, start by installing the file editor add-on in Home Assistant. Before we run the script, we need to upload the ZTE router integration file to Home Assistant. You can do this through the file editor or by using the Samba add-on to access the config folder directly. Then create a short script in the configuration file. This script will help extract the downloaded files and install the ZTE integration into the correct location. Now restart Home Assistant so that it picks up the new script. Once it's back online, Go to Developer Tools and run the script you created. This will extract the ZTE integration files and place them into the correct folder inside Custom Components. Next, restart Home Assistant one more time to make the integration fully available. After the reboot, go to the Integrations page, just like we did with the Huawei router, and add the ZTE integration. In our case, we're using the MC889A Pro, which follows the MC889 login scheme. So we'll select that option. Enter your router's IP address, username, and password. 
We'll also set the polling interval to 10 seconds to ensure signal data updates frequently. Once connected, you'll start receiving live signal data from your ZTE router. As the final step, we'll visualize the signal data from the ZTE router. Just head over to the History view in Home Assistant and add the relevant signal parameter entities like RSRP, RSRQ, and SINR. This lets you easily monitor how your connection performs over time. Now you've got a complete setup to track and analyze your router's signal. Remember that the current setup measures only the signal values of the primary component carrier, or PCC. To get reliable and repeatable results, it's best to lock your router to a specific main frequency. You'll find links to video instructions on how to do this in the description below. Let's quickly recap the key signal values. R SRP shows how strong the signal is. Lower values mean weaker signal. RSRQ reflects signal quality, especially useful to tell if the network is congested. And CYANR tells you how clean the signal is or how much interference there is. If you're trying to improve performance, focus first on SINR. A higher SINR usually means faster and more stable data speeds. Thanks for watching. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to subscribe for more tutorials on mobile routers and signal optimization. And let us know in the comments. What setup are you using and what signal issues are you trying to solve?